What's good, YouTube, man? Today, we got a special, special video, man. With 2K coming in two weeks or less, man. Drop September 8th, man. We got some more news for y'all, man. We got some quick news. This video not going to be too long, man. But first thing first, man, I, to, to make y'all more interested in this video, OP Builder is gone. I think we got the skill-based builder back, and in this video, I'm going to tell y'all why. If y'all don't want to miss no more 2K content, man, like this. Great 2K content, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, man. We're going to be grinding all 2K24. You don't know how we get, man, but if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like, like I said, man. Let's get right into it, man. Gonna start right here, man, for the for the for the new news, man. If you don't know, now you know, bro. Um, Rep Ryan is back, bro. That's a W off the rip. Rep Ryan is back, a rookie to legend. Well, now they call it top ten. Um, once you, I guess, when you get top ten, you get uh plus ten badges on everything. That used to be a W on 2K, man. That was like 2K20 when you used to get a plus ten on everything if you're a legend. Um, all the mascots, all the mascots is a W. I'm thankful that. Uh, Y'all know previous 2K, 2K23, you got mascots, and they let you pick one if you had got level 40. So now that the legend ground is back, they fixed it, bro. We got rookie, starter, and veteran, bro, and top 10 players in the world. I wonder how that's going to work, but seems fire, man. Um, These are the badges that has been removed from the game, from the game bro. Limitless takeoff, bully, clamp breaker, menace, mismatch expert, quick first step, vice grip, amp, clutch shooter, Floor general and volume shooter. Um, I don't really know how I feel about this. I'm gonna tell you the baddest that I that I um that I that I don't think that they should have took off. Well, it really don't matter because I heard that they got a lot of new badges. Like they got a new badge that we're gonna look at in this video. We got a new badge we're gonna look at in this video, and it's called um speed boost. So that was kind of like quick first step that they got a they got a badge called speed booster, and we quick first step basically was a uh, speed booster, unless they make it different, but my opinion bro i don't think um floor general was a bad badge it boosts all your teammates attributes by four um i don't know about volume shooter i think menace was a cool badge mismatch Ep expert was pointless i'm happy that it took limitless range out the game nobody really used bully like that unless you put a lot of speed up but a lot of the most comp 2k players we didn't use bully anyway because everybody went lowest weight unless you was like a big center uh clamp breaker that was, um, that badge really was like, I don't know, nobody really used it like that. If y'all did, then that's up to y'all. But for, you know, people who play 2K competitively, I don't think Clamp Breaker was like a needed badge. I don't think you needed Clamp Breaker. But we're going to go up and look at this image right here, man. As y'all can see, uh, Gray Stewart. As you can see, this is where the wreck is at. So I'm guessing performance multipliers. So basically by the wreck, the city, and the NBA, you have different i guess this is multiplayer that adds on to obviously at the top you see your c badges b badge tier a s badge perks floor setters and performance multiplier so obviously you got a student so if you get an a great a student winner takes all and up to challenge so the description of this is in a rec game finished with an a plus how to earn so i guess it just boosts things that you do in the game if you get an a i guess that just boosts things that you do in the game um as y'all can see, TakeOver will no longer be a part of the My Player process. So when you're building your character up, don't be looking for a TakeOver. Like, where's my TakeOver at? The TakeOver will now go off of basically what you do in the game. That's how you will get your TakeOver based off what you do in the game. I think that's pretty fire. Because say if you dribbling the ball and you just, you know, you shooting a lot of threes. You Even if you only got a 73, right? Hopefully this is how it works. Even if you only got a 73 and you just knocking down threes, you get sharp take based off the fact that you're knocking down threes more than anything. I think that's valid. I think that's valid, bro. I think that's that's a good way to go. Um, here are some new badges in the game and a couple of old badges. As y'all can see, Bunny, I think this is like um, Bunny off the ground where you just land the ball up from the ground. I mean, off the ground. Float game, um, open looks, um, um, relay passer, um, scooper, uh, spot finder, um, touch passer, triple strike, and whistle. Um, I'm guessing that the ones that was new that they just named, they were they were all playmaking badges, and none of them were shooting badges. I don't think. I mean, spot finder might be a shooting badge, but we got some more news here. As y'all can see, bro, these are the the dribbling um, moves that has been added to the game. These are the new ones. I think these are the new ones. Um, 
We got uh, 25 dribble styles. It might, be, it might be with the old ones too, y'all. 25 dribble styles, 31 behind the back, 18 step backs, 45, 45 crossovers, 27 hezzies, 26 escapes, 20 combo packs, 120 breakdown combos. I'm excited to see this because these are a good amount of animations that you can put in the game. Like, that you can equip. So, comboing might be back, y'all. Com real comboing might be back, y'all. Uh, size up is 70, 70, 67 size up escapes, 30 spins. Y'all, these are a lot of animations. Hopefully, you can equip every one. Like, you equip a dribble style, you equip a behind the back, you equip a, you equip a step back, a hezzy, a escape, and a combo pack, and a breakdown combo, and a size up. If so, then y'all, comboing it will be back in the game. Like, real combo, real legit combo. So, here was the new build system too, y'all. If y'all can see here, the new build system. Um, actually, I went on 23, y'all. This is here. This is why I, what I said in the beginning of the game that skill based builds are back in the game, y'all. Skill based builds are back in the game. I went on 2K23, made the same build. I made a shooting guard, a six four, a uh, shooting guard, six four, two oh five, six six wingspan. I copied all these same attributes. Um, it wasn't at a 90, so it wasn't at a 90 already. So they limited um, the things you could do with your builder. So now when you put certain things up, you're gonna max out at a 99 quicker than you did on, you know, on 23 next gen. This isn't current gen builder either. This is next gen builder. So this is strictly for current gen. As you see, 2K say next gen only. This is the next gen builder for next gen only. So if you for, if you own current gen and you're looking for the builder, this video is really not for current gen, but still stick to the end like i said y'all hit that subscribe button hit that like button if y'all new to the channel but i went on 2k23 man i made the exact builder it maxed out at 88 once i copied all these exact stats and you couldn't even put on some of the stats on 23 without it like maxing out you know what i'm saying without it maxing out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually show y'all that at the you know at the end of the video i'm gonna show y'all me making the same builder at the end of the video um here are also some new things that they got in the game um this is badge points so i guess these are all the badge points i wonder how this works you see it say c, c tier we already talked about the performance multiplier i mean multiplier so now we got immunity overdrive drill seven and we got a uh, stroller so um i wonder what this what this goes towards I, i'm thinking that this goes towards um I'm trying to trying to calculate this in my head bro because Okay, I think I got a glimpse. I'm about to break this down to exactly all how this is going to work. I think this is going to work is that every person has, right? Watch this. Watch how I'm about to break this, break this down for y'all. Everybody who goes in the game has an overdrive, an immunity, a drill, and a scholar. These are going to be the four categories of how your badges get, like, shaped on your player, right? This is how, you, this is how every, every badge gets shaped on your player. So, obviously... If you have overdrive, right, and you're doing a lot of dunks, right, that's how you get fast twitch to go up. That's how you get fast twitch because that's a tier three badge. Tier three badge, like based off this, this is a tier three badge for you because you're using tier, you're using fast twitch a lot. So this is your overdrive badge. So this is the overdrives is the main categories with picks your badges. So as you can see, they have Claymore as an S tier badge, and these are going to be the four categories that pop up on top of your name that like that. That collected your badge this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking when I'm giving y'all my example on when I see this. So say, so say these are my badges, right? I'm gonna tell y'all how Scholar would work for me and how I would get Claymore as a tier three badge. So I have Scholar up where my takeover is at, right? But I'm doing a lot of Claymore shots, right? So obviously I'm getting my Claymore badge faster than any other badge that I'm not using. So I'm not getting Fearless Finisher because that's not what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see how that works? So it's shaping how you're playing based off you know what i'm saying how you playing on the court and here's some more stuff right here you see claymore um this is what i was saying how it might work to get this badge hall of fame right you get this badge hall of fame it goes up it's like a core so on 2k23 i'm gonna show y'all on 2k23 getting your badge up was just doing the badge so i'm saying like you doing the badge and it goes up like that this is more like a core so when you start off bronze you have to get it cored up to go to the next one you feel me you have to get it core up to go to the next one so that's pretty fire um now we're gonna switch the screen we're gonna switch the screen back to 2k23 and i'm gonna show y'all the builder that i have made this is the builder that i have made um this is the builder that i have made 
Let me try to move the camera out the way. This is the same exact builder. This is 6-6. Um, as y'all can see, uh, down here under um, under this picture. Let me see if I can move this out the, the YouTube banner out the way for y'all. Um, let me move this YouTube banner out the way. Um, as y'all can see, 6-4. This is the same height that 2K has made on that presentation. Uh, as y'all can see, the overall maxed out at 88. Instead of on there, it maxed out at 90, as y'all can see. Um, uh, and you can't really get the same stats because you put on certain things. Um, certain other things go up. So that let me know that they nerfed the OP builder. Um, you will max out at a 99 quicker than you would on 23 next gen. So the OP builder is kind of nerfed. The OP builder is kind of nerfed. Um, now let's talk about the new. Um, let's talk about the new uh, badge that we haven't seen. Decision dunk. I guess that's the new posterizer. I guess I don't think po posterizer might still be in the game, but this might help you, you know, finish the dunks better. Um, two step, two step for the euros, as y'all can see. Uh, speed booster. This is another badge I want to talk to you about. Speed booster is also another badge. Um, bulldozer. This is that's what I was saying when I was looking at um that they took bully out the game. Bulldozer is basically bully, y'all. It's basically bully. bulldozer over people. That's basically the bully badge, but. You know, they just renamed it in Floater, Float Game. I guess they call it Float Game. It's basically the Floater badge that just been in 2K. But um Yeah, man. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the end of the YouTube video. I told y'all it's gonna be a real short video, man. It wasn't gonna be that long. Um what we gonna do is though, man. Hey, hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button, man. We got more 2K23 content coming for y'all. Cause y'all obviously here because y'all haven't probably seen information from other people. But hit that, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, man. I'm gonna catch y'all boys in the next YouTube video. Let's go. She must be from out of space. I never seen this bitch before. I get a nigga switch cheese for a little Peter Roll. I'm the type to fuck your baby mama, still put you on. Pockets look like that pads, you can see Franklin through the clothes. Lately I've been beating up that road, he got my pockets swole. 1200 for these Amiris.